I'm going to preface this video by saying that I didn't run the 16 miles this week. That was due to not feeling that well uh, leading up into the run. So my long run was scheduled for Friday. I decided not to run that much that day and decided to swap swap the 16 with uh, to, to push it back a week so I think it was a much needed change of plans because I definitely w was not feeling the greatest going into going into uh, the run I had a I felt like this week I had a slight regression in strength training and maybe even lack of lack of drive to to push myself harder I mean the the discipline is there for me to to get to the gym every every single day or at least try to but the motivation to push push my volume of weight moved it didn't feel as strong this this week compared to compared to other weeks especially since the prior week I hit I hit a few uh, heavy sets that I didn't even know I had in me um, prior um, prior to prior to the beginning of this uh, to this journey. So I'm actually pretty surprised because I didn't feel every single week I didn't feel that I could have pushed myself as hard or at least there was always something there was always something in the tank to push harder and last week I I felt like I achieved it but most of the times it always feels that I leave I leave a little fuel in in my tank because um, I just don't want to burn myself out I I have this kind of like this balance balance beam in my head on do I want to push myself harder hard, harder hardest as possible and deal with the repercussions then or do I want to push enough to to continue this lifestyle and I always find myself going for the going for the ladder Yeah, I kind of just stopped at the 225 on the bench this this week around. Moving on to deadlifts, I'm really focusing on on the on the movement as a whole and not really trying to rush rush my form I, I really want to I really want to feel every muscle fiber that is that is pulling while I'm doing the exercise and 
um, I find myself always telling myself to uh, to slow it slow it down and really uh, focus on on the movement um, the movement of your body the thought process in your mind I I find that it helps me a lot, helps me out a lot to um, keep keep myself level-headed. Yeah, this week I all my com all my compound movements. I really didn't feel that type of drive to to continue doing so many sets that I really strayed away from my compound movements and really focused with accessory work. I think having ups and downs is very vital to to progression to really kind of see where where you're at uh, mentally and physically and see what you can improve and uh, improve in your life whether it be your sleep training nutrition I feel like everything is a kind of experimentation to maximize your your gains and make sure your mindset is all in the in the right in the right place. So for my long run, I just did the eight miles. So I'll uh, I'll swap that with the sixteen that I was supposed to run, and. Uh, hopefully it will be a lot better or hopefully I'll feel a lot better to for the 60 miler that's it for this week and I'll catch you in the next one